Yo, what is up guys? Caleb here, or Caleb Visuals. We're in another video today. In today's video, we're gonna be going over why you should make your Instagram account a business account and the features that you get access to and how it can help you um, improve your, your growth and followers and just, you know, what people like about your pictures and not. Um, so let's get right into it. So as you can see, um, you may wonder how people get like the title underneath their name. As you can see underneath Caleb Nelson right here, I have the word photographer. Um, and people have, you know, visual art, videographer. It's, you can get whatever you want on it pretty much. Um, how you get this is you basically make a Facebook page um, and then you link your Facebook page to your Instagram and it becomes a business account. You don't have to use Facebook at all. Like when you make this account, you can just make a fake business account on Facebook and then just work it, work on it all on Instagram. Um, so here's some of the features that you get. First, you can see I have promotions. Um, mine's not gonna work right now because, oh, maybe it does. Um, but you can promote your, your Instagram. Maybe I can promote a certain picture. There, it won't work there. Um, and you pay 10, you can pay anywhere from like three to $10,000 to promote your pictures to a hundred people, a thousand, 10,000, you know, a hundred thousand, whatever, depending how much you spend, which can help you get, you know, links out there, um, website, uh, services, you know, etc. Now we click on this top right, uh, three bars up here and I can go to insights. This is where, you know, it actually is useful. So I click on insight. You can see I have all these uh, statistics um, showing off about my Instagram. So you can see in the last seven days, January 16th through January 22nd, I have had 624 actions taken on your account. Now if that means actions as in people have checked out my account, so maybe click on my link, um, followed me, unfollowed me, um, you know, was was uh, observing my account in some way. Um, and it tells you, you know, the days, Tuesday, um, I had 143 people, Monday, 46. And then it's like Monday, I didn't, I didn't post a picture, but Tuesday I did. So my, uh, you know, my interaction just shot up because people saw my pictures, cl clicked on my profile and, it, and I could tell that gives me, okay, people like this picture, people come to my profile more when I post this type of picture. Um, let's see, you can see website clicks. I got eight um, from, you know, the link that I have in my uh, bio. Um, now discovery in the last seven days, uh, 1,227. Now discovery, um, you can actually see right here. Um, what is discovery? This set of insights measures how many people see your content and where they uh, found it, um, where they find it. So discovery, like on this discovery page, maybe um, simply people just saw it because they follow me. Um, it kind of shows how much eyes, like how many eyes are on my uh, pictures and stuff. And you can see um, it's reached 1200 new people and impressions, which people saw, liked, um, comment, whatever, is 7,800 in the last, um, I don't know, seven days. Maybe it's just, just month. No, I think it's the last seven days. So you can see impressions, the total number of times all of your posts have been seen, impressions, and then reach is the number of unique accounts that have seen any of your posts. Um, so, and then you, you can really dive into it, so like, content wise. So right here it shows what best pictures have um, the most like interactions and stuff like that. So like you can see like this one has 1180 uh, because people liked it more. Uh, maybe they liked, let's say that they liked the lights back here. So click on view insights and you can get you even more details about this picture alone. Um, you can see it's been saved two times, hasn't been shared, 16 comments, 192 likes, 15 profile visits, and it's reached 630 people. Um, and then 
12 posts this week, so I'm posting uh, a fair bit. Um, you can look at stories. Usually, it's the stories that you have up in, in the last 24 hours. Um, and then promotions created uh, promotion. Now the audience tab is very useful. We click on it right here. Now I'm from Memphis, so most of my, um, you know, out of my 3,000 followers, is I click on it right here. I don't know what it means by 4%, but most of my followers come from Memphis onto the little town here at where I live in Tennessee, uh, London. Um, can't even say that other word and then Knoxville. So once again, Knoxville from ten is in Tennessee as well. So most of my followers are from Tennessee, and most of my followers are from Memphis, my hometown. Um, for many reasons, friends, friends, search with other friends, kind of just my name around town. Um, Memphis is a huge city, um, and then countries obviously I'm more big in the United States than I am in India, Canada, UK, and Italy. Um, but this kind of shows you. So let's say I have a lot of. A lot of people from Memphis follow me from my town, so that means they probably like my content um, that I post of Memphis, of certain you know um, sites and buildings and you know stuff that people recognize for Memphis. Um, an age range. Um, I really don't use this this much, but you can see most people, most of my followers are between 18 and 24. Um, which I guess could help, which means they're probably more into like the modern, modern stuff like, um, you know, said like old fashioned pictures or something like that. Um, and then you can category or organize it by men and women. Gender 68 men, 32% women or women. Um, don't think this really has a big difference in anything. Um, and then followers. So this is actually very useful um so as you can see um what's today actually today is the 23rd and it's a wednesday so if i click on wednesday you can see most of my followers are most active at 12 p.m for me 103 are active at 12 p.m so um it makes sense for me to post around you know maybe um post at like 11:30 um 11 45 and then all the people who are active at 12 um 12 through 3 will see my post will have a greater chance of seeing my post right away and potentially help me reach more people and help my photo get the most likes and most interactions so this could really help um see kind of what your follower count is on like you can see nobody only 300 people are on around three uh, three around 3 a.m. to 6 a.m. Three to 500 people. So therefore, my picture is not going to get that that many interactions and likes and comments and shares and stuff like that, as if I would have just posted it around like you know 12 p.m. and um, it kind of helps because you know let's say I post a picture at 3 a.m. and then people all my followers who are active at you know around 12 p.m. They're not gonna, they may not scroll all the way down the timeline to get to where I posted a picture, you know, so many hours ago and be able to see it. So you wanna make sure you post a picture at the right time, um, depending on what your insights say. So yeah, guys, this is really helpful. Um, I really do utilize this and use this, and um, I think it does help, um, especially when I go to a certain photo and I can see how people liked it. It lets me know people are liking my photos, liking my content, so that's awesome. You can see it has one share and two saves, so I really like when, pe when it shows people saved my pictures. I mean, they liked it, they're holding on to it. Maybe they want to um, do a picture like that. They want It gave them an idea, they can look back on it. And um, it could really help you kind of um, boost your your likes and your comments and you know get the most attention to your profile and that's what it's for so yeah guys I recommend you getting upgrading to a business Instagram account it's free no charge it's worth it um, thank you guys hope everybody has a great day thank you for rocking with your boy and peace